Hi, you guys. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Since you've seen my face on this channel, I just have to get my iced coffee. Do you guys get the, um, I promise I have actual content today. Um, the shaken brown sugar espresso from Starbucks. Well, I figured out how to make it at home and it's been problematic. <laughs> it's really good. Um, anyways, so now that I got that little jolt, today we're gonna be going over um, a recent haul. I've actually been doing quite a bit of shopping. Um, so I have a few hauls coming up for you guys in the next few days. Um, so if you like seeing what other people spend their money on, these videos are gonna be for you. Today we're gonna talk about Joanne's spring collection. Um, I went, I want to say two weeks ago, um, to see some of the new stuff that they have put out. And I found some really, really interesting, cute stuff. So, um, in no particular order, let's just start with this beautiful linen and it might be a linen blend. I couldn't remember to take pictures of the end of the bolt. So all I have is the stupid little ticket, which uses like the craziest, um, 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 what is it called? Like whenever you make a word shorter, <laughs> why can't I remember that? Hold on. Maybe I need more coffee. <laughs> Abbreviations. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Okay. So crazy abbreviation. So I think I not, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to tell. Yeah. They're just calling it a Cream Tonal Leaves Slub Linen. I don't think it's 100% linen. I think it's a linen rayon blend, especially by the feel of it. But I just thought it looked really expensive, right? Doesn't this look like something you would see, I don't know, in like a really nice department store or something. Um, my vision for it, and I didn't bring any of the patterns out here, but my vision for it is some kind of jumpsuit. Um, something maybe like this where it's still very casual, but this kind of elevates it a little bit. And this, I, it, of course, everything I got was on sale. This one was 30% off. I think right now for the sale period, the linens are not on sale at all. Um, so that means you can use your 50% off coupon, but the 30% off coupon means I got this for roughly two yards for 25 bucks. So $12 a yard for this. And I just think it's going to look really rich. So anyways, that's the first one. Then they started doing this, uh, last chance. Have you guys seen that where they're like 80% off? I don't know where these fabrics are coming from, but I got this one. It's called coral blue, white gingham seersucker. I think it's from the pop P O P exclamation point pop collection. Um, I got this. And I just thought it was like the perfect spring, summer and fall like color way. Um, and of course, Seersucker is just absolutely beautiful. I got two yards of this for $7.79. So like $3 a yard, right? Can't beat it. And I thought I would do either one of those like basic bodice dresses with a bust dart and then all the ruffles. I thought that that would be a cute option or um, I got a new Vogue pattern. I'll talk to you guys more about this in the Vogue review, but something like this, you know, trapeze shape because it is so structured. Um, I thought that I'd get a lot of like volume out of it, but it is short and narrow. Um, it's only 44 inches wide. I think that's pretty standard for the pop stuff, right? That's 44 wide, yeah. So it might only make a t-shirt, but maybe also I could do like a set where I do like that trapeze top and then make a cute short and sometimes wear them together and sometimes wear them apart. I think if that's the biggest um, point of inspiration that I got from watching the latest season of Emily in Paris and also a little bit of um, Mrs. Maisel. And also I've been watching the remake or whatever you want to call it of, um, a league of their own you know that movie from like way back when with Bette Midler and Madonna and like uh, Rosie O'Donnell and all them well they have like a tv series based about it now 
um and it's it's really good you know so it's a very social topic driven show but it's funny the actors are amazing in it and the clothing obviously is set in the 40s so the clothing's really good but they do these sets really really well i've been inspired by that lately to make more matching sets in prints that are maybe more bold than you would consider before so we'll see worst case scenario the shorts end up being great pajamas right okay next i got this dark blue white ferns textured polyester it was eleven dollars a yard after the 30 percent off discount that i got and this is it um and it is almost almost like a crepe like a poly crepe but I mean, how stunning is that gonna be for a spring, summer, maxi, even fall maxi dress? I just think it's so beautiful and it's a good mid-weight too. I think that my aversion to silky type and drapey type of fabrics lately has been weight. Like, I don't know that I'm into the lightweight ones anymore. They're pretty, yes, but I think that the work that it takes to cut them out and you know all just keeping them in order um like like doing what you want them to do at the cutting table and the machine that versus what they end up looking like in the end i don't know that i'm getting a lot of return on my investment there in terms of the time and the frustration but these mid-weight ones i'm really really liking so i'm thinking this for a maxi dress i'm um the sew together pattern which is the monthly challenge that I do on Instagram where everybody votes on a pattern every month and then we all make that same pattern um, and they're all indie patterns they're all really affordable um, size inclusive most of the time this time I spaced out and forgot to check it's a whole thing anyways um, that pattern for this month is the evergreen pattern company um, uh, cottage core PJs and it's basically like an empire waist top with like a big you know flouncy bottom you see think of baby doll baby doll dress that's what it is um but it's that and shorts so the shorts are too small for me because again i didn't think about size inclusivity at all so i think about extending that into a dress and if i do it in the right fabric it's like a dress you can wear out there's no reason that has to be pajamas right there's nothing that makes that pajamas um, depending on the fabric you use. So that might be what this becomes depending on how that pattern comes together, if I like it, if it's easy to sew, all of that. But I have a gajillion, a gajillion of um, of those. This would also, for what it's worth, make an incredible pair of um, really like drapey overalls. Um, again, not necessarily the ones that are all one piece, although that would be cute too. Um, but think about like a wide leg something you know what I mean so this TBD but I just thought it was too pretty too pretty to leave there and perfect for spring all right then I stumbled upon this new substrate for them this one is called athleisure rib knit look at this slate blue gray color they also had it in like a chocolate brown and that's all I saw so far I was shocked to not see it in black I'm sure that that's coming and they might even do some fun colors but if you are a what are they called like one piece fitted, like biker shorts with a top on it, leggings, like onesie, you know, type of thing. They're calling them jumpsuits, but I don't know that in my mind, jumpsuit doesn't mean fitted. These are these fitted, like cat suit, basically. And they come in long lengths, short lengths. They have some with sleeves and without. I ended up getting one off Amazon that was like $30 just to see, do I like this? Am I gonna wear this? Is this comfortable? How does it look on me? And I did not take it off for like three days. <laughs> well, that's not true, I didn't sleep in it, but I just kept putting it back on every morning. Every morning I kept putting it back on. And yes, it's a little much to like go to the bathroom, but honestly, they are so comfortable, so cozy, nothing constricting at all, but you still feel held in. Um, uh, Vogue has a pattern for it that I picked up um, during the sale that I'll talk a little bit more about in the Vogue haul video but this is that exact fabric i mean when i touched it i was like that i don't know if i was wearing that jumpsuit that day but um that, it's it it's it i mean it is like stretchy great recovery right but it has that like smooth hand feel that you're looking for in those things which also means that if i were to wear like a sweatshirt or a, a blazer even or a um 
a um, button down, it's not gonna stick to it. You know how sometimes you make things and they cover your butt and then it just sticks, you know, because the fabrics are clinging to each other. This is that smoothness. So everything's gonna just kind of like rub against each other beautifully. Um, so I was really happy to see this. I really feel like they are taking notes from brands like Skims, um, brands like um, Fabletics and all of them who are doing this fitted kind of athleisure. It's like, it's elevated athleisure, right? It's not necessarily sweatpants. We're showing off our figures again. Um, that's very, very in right now. So, and then I got a, oh, and that rib knit, pricey 20 bucks a yard without a sale the um athleisure knits were on sale for 30 percent off at that time okay and then the last thing i got was something called rose embroidered denim now i have always been a fan of their denims i think they do a really exceptional job of offering denims that are unique and fun like i see denim there that inspires me in a way it's like ready to wear, but also not like any ready to wear I've ever seen. I've, I saw this and I just thought it was so, it's like anthropology. It's like urban outfitters. It's like, I don't, it's like youthful, you know? And you don't think of embroidery as youthful. Um, but this is what I was actually absolutely gonna make that here it is. This, I thought these two things would be a perfect combination for each other. So the weight of this is pretty thin. I didn't remember what the exact weight of it was. It doesn't say on here either. But it's not a chambray. It's definitely a denim, but it definitely has a little bit of lightweightness to it. And I just thought that and this together, you would find an anthropology for like $400, right? So, so, so cute. So sweet. And because it's denim and it's like a light, like it be like a mid-tone, denim with a dark um, navy threading on the embroidery. I mean, you can put any shirt you want underneath it. You can do like they did here with like the tighter shirt. I think you can do button down shirts. I think you can do things over it, things. I think this is gonna just be super, super, super versatile. And although I love, love, love the jumpsuits that I have now, they seem a little bit specific. Like I don't feel like I can wear them just anywhere. I feel dressed up in them is really the whole point. Um, so if I want something that's just like somewhere between like lounge and like I've committed to getting dressed for the day, <laughs> somewhere in between those two things, um, I think this would be perfect. And this is regularly $18. Um, I did get it for 30% off. I think they had almost all of their garment fabrics, apparel fabrics for 30% off. I don't think denims are on sale right now, but they put denim on sale all the time. So um, those were some fun new things that I saw at Joanne recently. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you, if any of those fabrics you were like, oh, she should make a blah, blah, blah out of that. Leave it in the comments. I always read the comments. I love you guys inspire me so, so, so much. If something jumped out at you as like, that would be the perfect fa uh, pattern for that fabric or even like perfect type of garment. Um, like if you saw something and you were like, no, she needs to make a skirt out of that or whatever. Um, leave that in the comment as well. If you weren't inspired by any of it, that's fine. Did you like any of it at least? Do you think that you might go try and pick some of it up? <laughs> I will leave all of these fabrics in the like links in the description box because they're doing online sales separately from store sales. So sometimes there's things online that are on sale that aren't on sale in the store and also I think when you buy it online and pick it up in store, you get the online price. And they've been doing that 25% off total purchase thing if you buy online and pick up in store forever. And I saw that coupon again. So um, at the very least, you can get these for 25% off, which is pretty much what I spent on them myself. So I'm gonna leave all the links. If you liked any of them, um, grab those, put them in your cart, add the coupons, and then go pick it up in your store. Like what's the difference, right? Um, so yeah. That's that. Um, enjoy being with you guys today. I will look forward to chatting with you in the comments. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. I will see you all very soon. Bye.